Hello everybody, I'm Adam. And I'm Marty. And we are AM Vintage. Vintage. Welcome back everybody to another installment of our Elvis Talk. Elvis, we the first one was Coffee Talk, right? Yeah, Coffee Talk. Was yeah. it coffee? Well, we don't have, I never have coffee, so. Or, hey, you know what, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. But we always have an Elvis beverage, right? So, please get your drinks on right now because we have so much to talk to you about. Yep, talking all about Elvis, coming up next. All right, everybody, we're back with uh, another edition. Another edition. Isn't this exciting? It's exciting. You know, all the information that we found out for you guys this week is just some stuff that we're going to hear or we're going to talk about. It's kind of hard to believe yeah. or to take it. Yeah. <laughs> One or the other, but yeah. I think it's going to be interesting There's to some... see what your reactions are after. Yeah, we discovered some thing. really interesting. Yeah. Uh... And it might just be stuff that you already seen back yeah, you know, years back, but it's just something that we sometimes found. it's like, hey, news to me. I didn't. <laughs> it's you know. news to, uh, to us, so we yeah, just want to see yeah. what your take is on it. But first off, we're going to be mentioning about. Uh, uh, well, uh, Baz Luhrmann was just at the the Met Gala. Yeah. And uh, on the red carpet, uh, he, yeah, he spilled a little. He's making some teases on the yeah. concert footage that he found. Well, I should say Elvis concert footage that he found during the making of the movie. That he's trying to put out. Yeah, he's and, got... Like, uh, the never before scenes, right? Correct? Yeah, he, he discovered uh, when he was making the, the Elvis movie, uh, the Baz Luhrmann Elvis movie, mm -hmm. um, he discovered just a ton of footage from uh, both of Elvis's uh, yeah. documentary movies, That's the Way It Is, and Elvis on Tour. Yeah. He also is going to be trying to release an extended cut of the Elvis movie with more of Austin Butler's performance in that movie yeah. which will be awesome yeah. to see I, I think that's gonna be like later on down the road yeah but i think this elvis footage will be first will be coming out yeah, yeah. first so which hopefully. i think <laughs> i think most of the fans are a little bit more excited about the elvis footage because it's like oh what kind of footage is so. out there that we have but that's seen. not to like downgrade you know austin because he did i think he did an oh, excellent yeah. job yeah that yeah. the elvis movie with austin was awesome, was awesome. i'd love to yeah. see an extended cut of that movie i would you know? yeah or delete it i don't know did we have deleted scenes there probably were we just haven't watched the. we bought the movie mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, mm. on DVD, but we did not see if there was any extended, and that would be something. To there see. wasn't anything on the DVD. No, I, I don't believe. Mm. But uh, yeah. I would imagine with almost every movie, there's some deleted scenes that maybe would, for yeah. some reason they they had to shorten the movie, or maybe the directors just just like God, oh, this doesn't work. Yeah, you know, so. but you know the movie was long enough. You figure just long. leave it in. Yeah, <laughs> they all went over. They already went over the time frame, so why not yeah. just leave the stuff in? Right. That's true. <laughs> but you know. um that's the way it is, which is Elvis's first concert documentary film. Um, they did a new version of That's the Way It Is about 15 or 20 years ago, mm -hmm. which I thought was just excellent. Yeah. I actually liked the newer version of That's the Way It Is better than the original. So hopefully with the, the footage that Baz Luhrmann has, yeah. he, he'll blow our minds, you know. I think he will. Yeah. He's very creative, and I like him as yeah. a director. And the way that he so, directs and the way yeah. he's going to edit the film together, it'll probably be awesome. It's going to be nice. And very colorful. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully it's two movies. Hopefully he has he puts out a uh, Elvis on Tour movie, yeah. and uh, that's the way it is, you know? That'd be awesome. So that would be great. Yeah. So moving so, uh, on to our... Let's talk about uh, what's been comment. going on with us with AM Vintage. A lot's been going on with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Let's sure. talk about our... Uh, <laughs> We started doing lives, yeah, which has uh, been kind of fun, hasn't it? Has been, has been fun, yeah. A little nerve wracking since we're not really like Adam likes to call it tech savvy. So <laughs> we're um, we're getting used to uh, everything we've ever done so far on YouTube has been with our phones. Yeah, and with the lives we're using our our computer. You have to. You you just yeah. um, and the first two lives that we did the. The camera we were using was was pretty blurry. Yeah, as you could tell, the first two lives we had, yeah. you guys, was just, I mean, the quality yeah. was so bad. Yeah. Dark I mean, and blurry. I mean, they were great. We had a great time. Um, yeah. But did. just the quality of the footage was not very good. Yeah. So we were we were getting kind of bummed about that. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to do any more lives out there. We're like, no, yeah. it's so just going to look like this. Yeah. So we did. We bought a new webcam. Yeah. And uh, 
I think the first time, the first night we were going to use the webcam, we went to start our live and it said, you know, not detecting the camera. So we were like, oh man. So, so that live, we had to use the crummy camera again, you know, yeah, we did. but we finally figured it out. And then we, the same thing happened with a microphone. We're like, well, let's get a good <laughs> microphone to, you know, pick up better sound. And we still haven't figured that out. No, have we, but I think our webcam that we bought has, it, it has good sound. It has a sound already. So, so uh, we I mean, might be I good with that. <laughs> it's already included. Yeah. So we don't we're, we're trying, it. ladies and gentlemen. We're trying, we're trying to make it better quality for you guys. So yeah, that way, yeah. you know, better experience, I guess, in that sense. So yeah. we're trying our best. But it's one thing about these lives that, that is really nice is, you know, we know a lot of our friends and subscribers that, that we've met, but uh, it gives the, uh, our subscribers a chance to meet each other. And that talk too. to each yeah. other, you know. And not only that, it gives other people who are coming to the channel to get a sense of who you are as we're talking, you know, and maybe not in real time, but right. They um, get to ask you get to us questions and find out exactly if what yeah. kind of people we are. Yeah. So and we get to ask you guys questions, which yeah. is great. Which is awesome. You know, there's so many Elvis experts out there that know mm -hmm. more than we do, and yeah. So it's good to have all different types of people on our lives. So, yeah, another thing, too, we've been using a lot is our community post on our page, which I've never done before. And now I'm starting to, you know, get a little bit more comfortable with that yeah. format or that platform, rather. I like the community um, posts. I do. Because it's almost like you can advertise things that you're going to do, upcoming things. Yeah. Or, you know, you could talk about things that we already did. or Right. And so. like we just did, we actually were able to meet up with one of our friends, our subscriber, yeah. winner. Uh, for this well, we month. decided to start doing yeah. giveaways. We did. And uh, we, what would we decide? We're going to do it once a month? We're going to do it once a month. But, but we do it two days. Two days, which is Friday so and Saturday. Yeah, we do a Friday night giveaway and a Saturday night giveaway, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we met up with one of our winners and that was really awesome. It's exciting to get to know, you know, uh, and honestly, we, we, we're we more <laughs> nervous than probably the, the person that's meeting us. Yeah. Um, and yeah. just like Adam, we just don't, you know. <laughs> and here I can't believe we're, I, honestly, you guys, I can't believe we're getting more subscribers. I, I, yeah. I'm very honored for that. And they're from all over the world, mm -hmm. which is, how often do you get to talk with somebody from, you know, across the globe? Yeah. So, We've got quite a few uh, subscribers that are from Australia. Yeah, it's awesome. Which is really neat. There's a about. lot of Elvis fans in Australia, it seems like. Yeah. You know? And we get to talk about the things that we love and things that we probably have in common with you guys. So that's very yeah. That's very important to us is to know. Like I said, our community page, I usually post things there, but I also do polls. Um, and that's just to get your input and to know exactly what we can do on yeah. our channel to make it more, I guess, entertaining. <laughs> if it's not already. <laughs> we, we, we hey we, we try, try to, everything we try to do all the tricks you we know try all, the, everything. <laughs> all the gimmicks we try it all you know so, so. um what about the direct from uh, graceland exhibit in london yeah. that's been going on for a while but a few weeks ago they decided they're going to extend extend the exhibit until september 1st which is awesome i think yeah because you know there's a lot of people overseas that you know you, maybe you can't make it to to memphis you yeah. know maybe it's just too far of a trip well, no, and a lot of things, too, you know, I, I think we were talking to one of our friends from Australia. And you know what, Adam, I never think about, yeah, the problem or the, not the problem, but the difficulty of getting, obtaining your passport. You know, it's kind of hard. It's not that easy right. <laughs> to get your passport really quick and then, you know, come to Memphis. No. And vice versa. I don't think it's that easy for us to go to a different country. I mean, it's, there is a process. Well, I, I've never even taken that process. <laughs> so there is. I, I, I say it all the time. And well, you know yeah. what? Why not say it again? The yeah. only plane I've ever been on is the Lisa Marie. So. But. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, but any, have any of our friends been to the, the London exhibit? Yeah, I'd like to hear from you guys. Have you guys been yeah. there? And, and what I, kinds of things you liked? I know they take some of the like really nice artifacts from Graceland and fly them over there. So That's so cool. I think they brought the. The um, gold lame suit, maybe a few of Elvis's cars. I would, I don't know what else, but yeah, it's pretty neat, you know. It's interesting to know that some of the artifacts that we don't see in Memphis are out abroad, you know, yeah. somewhere else, and yeah. it's like the same thing goes for us too out here. It's really neat, you know. It's that's why it's so interesting. Yeah. Um, 
What's next in the news? Well, I just thought I we'd remind everybody that uh, what there's only about five more months. Five more months until the Lisa Marie Presley book comes out. Yes. So you know, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to hear yeah. her point of view on certain things. Yeah. Um, and what I mean by that is probably just on the you know the the challenges she might have had like growing up or whatever. I don't know how detailed. Or how far back she's wanting to do. I'm assuming as far her back life. as she can remember. I would right? imagine, so I'm right? I'm assuming, um, but uh, um, also like on the rumors and things of that nature too. And me, for me, it's more of Michael Jackson. I'm just curious to know more about that. Although I don't know if she might mention so, that or not. So Mari wants to know about the only part I don't want to know, know about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I just want to know how that relationship came about. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting because you don't... From her point of view, Her right? point of view. Because everybody is like, oh my God, it's a setup. You know, oh, this is yeah. not real. It's publicity. Yeah. But uh, was it? I don't know. We don't just know. don't know. But, and then but, her marriage to Nicolas Cage. I wish that would have worked out. I, yeah, I love Nick Cage. I thought those I think he's two great, you know? would have been awesome. And that guy loves Elvis. Yeah, you know I mean? he. I think those two would have been a cute couple oh, yeah, to, you yeah. know, and I think things would, I don't know, in my mind, well, I'm Marie, thinking it would have been different. Uh, just, rem I, it's going to be cold in October, so we better dress warm because we're going to be camped out at like the Barnes & Noble or, oh, no. or whatever <laughs> local bookstore we go to, man. And if when we get in there, if they don't have it, Oh, forget it. Forget it, Mari. I might just have to, I don't know, man. It was all for nothing. I'll take off my blue suede <laughs> shoes and throw them or something. I don't know. I'll be so upset. And it was all for nothing. That was for nothing, man. Nothing. <laughs> forget it, man. But uh, Don't worry, guys. We, we plan to take you yeah. guys along, so hopefully yeah, we'll yeah. be yeah. shivering we'll with take our, you along. our yeah. camera. Let's do it. Let's take uh, them along when we go to buy the book. So you guys can see yeah. that experience with us. You know what I'm hoping, though? Uh -huh. I'm hoping they do an audio book as well, and maybe Riley Keough. Oh, that would be cool. Because she's the one that's actually putting the book out for that, her mother. But, you know, they have AI now, so it would be nice to have Maybe they could Lisa's do it in Lisa's voice. Voice, yeah. That would be interesting. That would be awesome. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Are we moving it along? Next. Uh, yeah. This uh, next thing that we're going to talk about is something I didn't, I never heard of, but somebody brought it up uh, in our, in one of our lives that uh, they're releasing a 70th anniversary um, 10 inch vinyl of That's All Right Mama. It's That's All Right, but I always mm -hmm. call it That's All Right Mama. So, uh, but it's interesting to know that there's only a certain amount. They're of copies. only releasing. Uh, 1,954 copies, which is 1954, the year that the song came out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it'll be released through Graceland. So you can order it through Graceland. And, I mean, that's that's yeah. a really small amount of copies. That's and what we mean by Graceland, I mean, I know for some of our foreign um, subscribers, it's yeah. usually there, if you type in Graceland. Um, Graceland.com. Dot com. I think so. Um, or even, to, yeah, just type in Graceland. I mean, you'll see that um, just, they got their yeah. own store there, I believe, right? And yeah. uh, But yeah. you better order quick. Order quick. I, I think we're too late, Mari. I don't know. Probably. But sure. maybe we're all too late, but let's try, yeah. everybody. Let's, let's try, try if you want it. <laughs> yeah. So. Although I don't know what the price is. That's another thing. It didn't really specify the price. Yeah. I did not see it. I, I imagine, I think That's All Right Mama came out on what, July 4th? I think it came out on, on July 3rd, maybe. July 3rd or July 4th. Yeah. Isn't that horrible of me that I forgot? But uh, I, <laughs> I imagine that's He's when... good with uh, history. That's probably when it's going <laughs> to be... dates and... That's probably when they'll I mean, release it, though. You know, like, I it, just know the year probably. I'm not good with the month and the yeah, specific yeah. day. Well, these things <laughs> happen. Time, like at five oh three p.m. <laughs> uh, that would be Adam. That would be you. <laughs> that would. Five at uh, five oh three and twenty seven seconds. Right, there you go. You know so. <laughs> Well, moving along, we still got some good. This is more great news, right? More Graceland news. Graceland. Mm -hmm. But this is mainly for for you folks that are able to go to Graceland. Yeah. And if, and if you're going, hey, bring your uh, pocketbook, man. Bring your pocketbook. Bring your wallet. Bring, bring your all your credit cards. Mortgage your home. Uh -huh. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> put your cars up oh, for sale. What? You know, oh, yeah, okay. you might have to, you know, I hope you don't have to sell the family pet. But anyways, the prices are steep. But Yeah, they're a little. Oh. Um, but it, hey, you know what? If you get to hold Elvis's boot or Elvis's shoe, what oh. we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is starting <laughs> starting May first, which uh, what was a couple of days ago, right? Yeah. Um, inside the Graceland Archives, Ultimate VIP Tour started. 
Yeah. So this sounds pretty neat. Uh, get a glimpse into the archival work that goes on behind the scenes at Graceland. And uh, guests get to, uh, they get an inside look at what it takes to preserve all the king's things. Isn't yeah. that it? And uh, they, you know, we just talked about the exhibit that was in London. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of what they do is they kind of like show everybody what it takes to to move like a major Elvis, Elvis exhibit from Graceland overseas. You That's got to be so extensive and so like carefully. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's I mean, nerve wracking. It's you know? nerve wracking. You imagine dropping an article. Yeah. <laughs> or is that like, no. You know what I. I'll get fired in the first day. Yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> I hate to bring this up, and I couldn't believe it when I, I saw the photos, okay? And maybe this guy's not just a tribute artist. Maybe he works for the archives at Elvis Presley Enterprises. Okay. But when they were uh, packing up the 68 comeback special, the black leather suit, yeah. to take it to one of these exhibits overseas, Dean Z. Oh, gosh. The tribute artist, Dean Z. We have a, a whole thing about <laughs> Dean Z on one of our... Uh, Elvis Chronicles. Yeah, yeah. Watch those. But Dean Z was the one that was picking up Elvis's <laughs> 68 comeback suit and putting it in the box. What? I, I promise, Mari. I promise what? you. No, I promise you guys. Yeah. On, right? Well, he had gloves on, but I'm just like, I mean, I guess if, if, if you do a good enough Elvis tribute, man, you get to handle the merchandise. Maybe he paid. You don't get to pay for something like that, <laughs> Mari. I mean, this was like, this wasn't like something in the, like, part of the tour no this was they were packing up the suit to take it on tour you <laughs> know what i mean a tour or something. I don't look, know. look those pictures up, look dean, up. hey a dean z man and we'll be lucky if you ever watch our channel but if you do <laughs> hey man how did you get how did how did hey man that's did, because adam would love to be the one yeah, to pick yeah, yeah. you know come in you know, you've been like uh, making you've been making angie marchese like special gifts or something i don't know <laughs> But well, maybe you should sing to her. Maybe she'll let you. Yeah, you've been singing her special <laughs> telegrams for her family members or something. How do you do that, Dean Z? She was getting serenaded. I'm, 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 a, I'm a little bit jealous, man. <laughs> this is the second time you made me jealous, Dean Z. The first time was when Mari, man, she started going to see you all the time. She forgot all about me. Uh, I forgot. About, forgot. I did not forget about you, but yeah, during that time, yeah. You forgot about me, and you started with Dean Z. That was horrible. <laughs> No, that wasn't very good. But right. We got one more thing to talk. Well, you know what? Before we get to the good, you know I, what? I'm so excited. We got a little bit of time. We do have a little bit of time. Right. Are you sure? I want to share one more thing before we get to the goods. All right. But, okay. But make sure you have your drinks out. Is there, what, what is everybody drinking? What are you guys drinking? What are we drinking? What are you drinking? I just got regular old, uh, not lemonade. I got limeade. I got my, my usual. I, I want to show you guys without spilling it. There you go. <laughs> we actually do. This is not like in the television shows when they act like they're drinking. They just make a slurp noise like, ooh, that was good. We're drinking. We're really We're drink drinking. Not, not, not that kind of Not drink. alcohol. Not though. alcohol. Yeah. It's I got too my, early. My cherry ginger ale. You guys should try it. If you're not into it. I'm doing good, you guys. Three weeks without Coke. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, man. <laughs> Mari, man, we're confusing all these people. Coca-Cola, yeah. Our viewers <laughs> must think, man, these guys live on the edge, man. They're crazy. No, we're not that crazy. It's all right. Well, we have friends that drink Pepsi Cola. Yeah. I don't like Pepsi. You know what, Mari? Let me explain something to you. Not that I don't okay? like it. I like to get high on life. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, all right. Hey, we like to go to the Goodwill. You know what I mean? Of course. We're yes. like, we love, hey, look it. We got Elvis stuff all over. Yeah. Where do you find this stuff, you know? So, at the Goodwill. We, at the Goodwill. <laughs> we find it at the Goodwill. But uh, we lucked out the other, uh, about two days ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, we found some Elvis records at the Goodwill. I'm like, hey, let's share these on our, on our, uh, what is this call? This segment, Mari. What do you mean? Is it coffee talk? Or this is, is it... Elvis talk. I'm it's not... Elvis talk. I never call it, co you keep saying coffee. I call it coffee talk. If you just guys go I, to you know our first one. I'm hooked drinks, on coffee. He drinks coffee. I'm hooked on it. And we just called it, it's because we said it was an Elvis morning talk. You're right. You're right. So it's this is not, our Elvis talk. This is our Elvis talk yeah. because I only drink whatever. Right, and right. But I told Mari, I'm like, hey, let's share these records on our talk. Yes. So, so I, I think we got some good ones here, Mari. So let me let me share check these, these with out, you guys. guys. It was awesome. We'll start here. Okay. Elvis, let's be friends. Let's get that glare. ring light glare oh out. Gosh. But we got Elvis, let's be friends. It's still got the plastic wrap on it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you can see yeah, it's got the good. Goodwill sticker. We paid a, what, a dollar twenty nine. Yeah. But yeah, we got Elvis Just Be Friends. Or Let's, Let's Be, Be Friends. Friends. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is a great record. You want to see the back? Yeah, the back. There's the back. It's cool. So that was really cool. Yeah. All right. Let's see the next one, Mari. They're not all Elvis. There's a, a few. Uh, yeah. We got Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Which, uh, you know what? It's a little, but you know. It's a little I, beat I up. Like Johnny, but though. there you go. A dollar twenty nine for Johnny Cash. Yeah. As long as the record, it's not, you know, scratched. The records are in decent shape. I'm glad. And there's the other side. Yeah. And everybody knows he recorded at Sun. Yeah. Just like Elvis. So that's why Johnny Cash can be in the uh, Elvis he talk. He can like be in Johnny the Elvis Cash. talk. Look at this one. This was there. Isn't that awesome? Yep. Check out the price. $1.29. <laughs> Let's look at the back. Paradise Hawaiian style. How many movies did Elvis do in Hawaii? I... I'm I'm thinking three. Blue Hawaii, Paradise Hawaiian Style, and... What was the other one? Girl Happy... Not Girl Happy. Girls, 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 maybe? I can't remember. What's the third one? You guys know. Or was there four? So let us know. <laughs> I forget, man. You learn so much about Elvis over the years, you forget more than, than you know, you know? <laughs> well, there's just so much info. Yeah. Information. <laughs> info. Info. I info. Info. <laughs> That's that's our new. Uh, I like thing. this cover. Like his, who doesn't like that hair? That's a nice cover. Yeah. She had blues. His face. Look at that. Yeah. Is the is the sticker on there? Look somewhere? at those lips, There's the lady. Good, look at the lips. Look at them lips. Look at them lips. Well, don't hey, Mari, man, don't look too. You you you, <laughs> you got a man, Mari. Don't look too much. I mean, you can look, but lips. don't stare, Mari. Don't I stare. I love the lips. I love your lips. Well, hey, don't. Let's not get too personal with the viewers, Mari. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, GI Blues. We still need to review that, don't we, Mari? We still need I think to. that's probably going to get two thumbs up, I'm guessing. Uh, it's got some really good songs in it. So It's yeah, been a long we'll time see. since I've seen GI Blues. But one thing about GI Blues I remember. Did you say GI Blues? GI Blues. <laughs> so yeah. like it's a GI Blues. One thing, man. <laughs> hold on, man. Now, one thing I remember is Elvis re-recorded Blue Suede Shoes. For that movie. Because, uh, I don't know, they were going to use it in the movie for a, I don't know, for a scene. So he re-recorded re it. Isn't that interesting, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen? But uh, look who we got here, man. Oh, I love the killer, Jerry Lee Lewis. Could you believe, Mari, man, what was the, the look on my face when I found a Jerry Lee, an Elvis, and a Johnny Cash? It was like he was at the candy store. And I mean... A little giddy kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. There's got to be a Carl Perkins in there. It was like, ooh, but no. oh, no. Oh, look, look. <laughs> there wasn't any Carl there Perkins. Was no, there was no Carl. So we almost had the Million Dollar Quartet. Almost. There's another Jerry Lee. That's a good one. I love Jerry Lee's live. Somebody must have dropped these. Somebody must have just got rid of these. Yeah. And they have, collection. They all have that plastic Again, wrap. ladies and gentlemen, I feel like maybe somebody's... I mean, to get rid of these, it has to be a, a really good reason. I don't think you just get rid of them. I think what happens, probably a lot of times, it's sad, but somebody... There's there's probably a, somebody passes away. Yeah. And then the kids, they don't really... You know, they're not into Elvis. Well, they're they not into know, Jerry Lee. That's so. sad. We need to bring this around. We need to, like... Educate. <laughs> yeah. This one. I was so happy to find this one, Mari. Ladies again, what is that? He always mentions this. Well, here's the thing with this clam one. Clam bake. <laughs> I, first of all, I love clam bake. And you know you do. <laughs> I know I have copies of clam bake. I think I might have the same cover mm -hmm. that has the, you know, the this little part right here that advertises an autographed. I'm trying to it. Yeah. There's an autographed uh, picture of Elvis and Priscilla in here. And uh, I don't think I ever found a copy that actually had the autographed picture in it. Mm -hmm. But this one, ladies and gentlemen, and it's not a real autograph. Obviously no. But uh, this, let me pull it out. It comes with the Elvis and Priscilla. So isn't that cool? At the Goodwill for a dollar twenty nine. I got. Clam bake with the insert. I think I could just put my picture right there. Now, don't do that, man. These hey, were happy times. Hey, ladies. Hey, 
These were happy times. Elvis was happy. So let's just, you know, let's remember those good times with the king. No big deal. I just put my face in there. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You could do that. You know, it's for fun. You it's know, fun. no big deal. <clears throat> but anyways, <laughs> stick that no, no insert back in there. <laughs> Show you guys the back cover. You know what's cool about this one, Mari? Hmm. Is I think it's got the original price tag on it. Does it? Well, no, it doesn't have the no, price. No, it doesn't have the price, but it's, it's got a, a weird little, little tag, tag here that says key. Yeah. Whatever that means. That's a little key for the 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 <clears throat> store. Yeah. <laughs> the you, hey, man, you know these things. You've worked in the department stores. Of course. She knows how to fold, man. She could fold that. Because you know, I used to work. I used to work yeah. at what was it? What was the name of that store? Carson's. I don't know if anybody remembers Carson's Perry Scott. Carson Perry Scott. And so I worked in yeah. the, the clothes department. So uh, I worked juniors in, or whatever it was, yeah. or the ladies, and I got you to did. fold all the clothes, and I knew how to fold. That's why. I worked in a Coles for you a little while. Of, you make fun of me the way I fold clothes, right? You do a good job. You know how? <laughs> hey, I'm not going to complain. I mean, if someone's folding clothes, <laughs> you know, don't say too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> a long time. Look, I think I was 19 yeah. years old when I first started working at Carson. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we saved the best for last, though, didn't we, Mari? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it's not the best. I don't know if anybody's going to be ready for this news, but I was yeah. like, uh, my mouth just dropped. Oh. Or my mic just dropped. Damn. Well, that's not a good thing, right? Darn, telephone. Hold on. Let me turn this. Hold on. Let me turn my phone off. Darn, phone keeps ringing. Okay. That's better. <sighs> Man, Mari. Who called? Who's calling? Las Vegas, man. Las Vegas keeps calling me, man. They keep calling me. My name is Elvis Presley Jr., ladies and gentlemen. I am the... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 what? I thought you were Michael Presley. No, man. Michael Presley, man. That guy's a fraud, man. It turns out he's a fraud, man. So now you are... I'm Elvis Presley Jr., okay? Elvis Aaron. Oh, er, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I <laughs> forgot my full name. I'm Elvis Aaron Presley Jr., okay? Uh, I grew up in Las Vegas. I grew up in the circus, okay? Uh, when they found out, you know, my mother was, uh, she was an extra in the movie Blue Hawaii. And, you know, my mother and Elvis, they had a thing going on. And then my mother got pregnant. And Hal Wallace, he said to my mom, man, he said, hell, heck no, man. Heck no, I got to make this PG. And uh, and so they shipped me off to the circus, man. And I was there until, I don't know, I was 21 years old. And then they, they told me, they said, you know what? You're the most important son that's ever been born. I mean, other than, you know. They said, you are, my, you are uh, Elvis Aaron Presley Jr. So, yeah, and then I left the circus and I became an Elvis uh, tribute artist. Isn't that something else? And I've had, and my very first manager was Amelia Earhart's manager. <laughs> yeah, he started managing me when he was 82 years old. So. so, ladies and gentlemen, the news is we have found another son. I'm lost long. We keep finding Elvis's long lost children. I keep saying it backwards. Long lost. Long son. lost on long, YouTube. And I mean long. Yeah. <laughs> lost. Yeah. Long <laughs> lost. We thought my, uh, Michael Presley was wild. If you guys haven't seen Michael Presley, look him up. He's Elvis's long lost son. Yeah, you guys, we yeah. did a video. He claims to be. We yeah. did a video a few, I want to say a couple of months ago, on what we thought was the only Mike, well, the only son of Elvis, right? That's coming. No, up. we didn't think, but he think he was claiming to be the only well, son yeah. of Elvis. Okay. And that was so the only one we knew about. We knew about. Yeah. But now it turns out there's an actual other man who's coming yeah. forth. Or who, ha who has already come forth? I guess he's been around for years. For the nineties, right? Yeah, he, he was on. The 90s, remember Jenny the show Jones. Jenny Jones? He was on the Jenny Jones show. With uh, he always hangs out with all these other juniors and 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 illegitimate children of celebrities, but I don't think any of them are the are the real children, you know. And this guy, he's well, he's got the sideburns and the and the jet black hair, man. But that's about it, you know. What did you think? Were you convinced, Mari? It was just very... I'm very I'm quiet because I don't know what to say about this man. I think I'm just tired of... Like I said, I have no disrespect for the, 
if they're related to Alvis, I'm yeah. going to respect that. But it's the fact that they never really show proof. Yeah. And all the people that they name are us- are either gone, deceased, yeah. or missing, <laughs> or I mean, we don't know about all yeah. these people. Now, I, maybe, maybe I'm greedy, uh, Mari. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm a greedy person. But if like if I found out that my father was you know like Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I want a piece of that money. You know what I mean? I'm not just gonna sit back. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't want nothing to do with Graceland. Let let Riley deal with all that. Yeah. If I find out that I'm Elvis Presley Jr., I mean, come on, let me in. But obviously, I mean, this guy don't want to take a DNA test. Well, me, I'm not really about <laughs> the money. I think I'm not either, I would but... be more wanting the, the, the recognition, right? That's your dad. You know, who wouldn't want to be Elvis's kid? Right. But the fact that this guy comes out and says... Oh, I don't want none, no part of it. But yet you're dressing like him. Yeah. You tell us you have your own style. And yet I don't see your own style. I see yeah. a man that's got the full blown hair looking like Elvis. Yeah. Um, dressing like him, singing like him. The, you... the only reason we're bringing, him up, bringing this guy up during our Elvis talk. Yeah. As, as we were preparing like the topics that we were going to discuss. Yeah. We found this video that just came out a few days ago on YouTube. Yeah. And it's this guy from Vegas who's like a, uh, um, what do they call that? Like like Channel 11, what is that? Uh, kind of like PBS, a... PBS, like, like a public, public, bra- public broadcasting in, in Vegas. Yeah. There's a guy that has a show where he interviews people. Yeah. And he interviewed uh, Elvis Aaron Presley Jr. It's so ridiculous. You know what, you know what bothers <laughs> me? Is whenever he's talking about Elvis, he calls him Elvis Sr., He's like, so uh, whenever Elvis Sr. did this, and Elvis Sr., that's annoying, Mark. And I hate that every <laughs> time he would speak, they would put a comparison, like the picture to compare him with yeah. Elvis. I'm yeah. like, really? They're like, boy, he sure does look like him. He looks him, like yeah. him. He yeah. sounds like him. He even talks like him. And I'm thinking, does he? No. Isn't that what all ETAs do? Yeah. Don't they all sound like Elvis? Look like him? Try to, you know. Yeah. Can we so, do something? Maybe AM Vintage can... Uh, can put this together. And maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll do it right here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if, if there's people out there that have connections and they could pull strings, maybe some of our subscribers. But here's what I want to do. And I'm I'm doing this. I'm inviting. I'm going to invite three people to our uh, Elvis Museum here in Illinois, okay? I want to get uh, Michael Presley, okay? I want to get Elvis Aaron Presley Jr. Mm-hmm. And I want to get the Reverend Bob Joyce. <laughs> and I want to get all three of those people here in one room, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, don't, forget, don't forget Lisa Marie's sister. Lisa okay. Marie's long lost sister. Long lost sister. Yeah, we'll get her too, man. <laughs> I want to get all these people together. And it's going to be like one like crazy, wacky family reunion, you know, of people that aren't actually related to each other. <laughs> It'll be crazy, man. Uh, that's crazy, man. It's crazy. I like when Elvis was in concert. I... Remember when Elvis was in concert that one time and he's like, well, there's that chick, you know, that wanted to do a, mater- a paternity test and everything. And, you know, she said y- y- she must have got pregnant by the by the camera, Polaroid camera, you know. Remember that? Mm-hmm. I- I- I'm-, I'm all tongue tied, ladies and gentlemen. But Are you? <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't coffee? I don't know. He has lemonade. Like, it seemed like coffee. Like, he's like really wild. I'm just really, like I said, I have no words, as you can tell. I have no words. I think I'm just yeah. confused as to why, why now? <laughs> or why do people be- want, I mean, do people want to believe this? Um, because in the comments, you had people. Some people believe it. Really believe him. And let's, and like I said, I want to believe him. I do. Because. Well, you say. But I don't want. Like, there's no yeah. proof. The thing Where's is, the Mari, proof? you say why now? And yeah. the thing is, is this is not new. I mean, we've seen clips of this guy on the Jenny Jones show back in the 90s. No, but what I meant is, uh, why... I think that he wanted his second 
15 minutes of fame. I think that's what, you know what I, I mean. I guess that's what I meant. Like, why now again? Like, well, why that now? first because... 15 minutes was probably pretty exciting. He was on Jenny Jones' show. He got to probably go to Europe on yeah. some talk shows over but there. But he did mention he was popular in movies and such, and he's, yeah. he's worked with a lot of actors and actresses and yeah. all that. So, movies that nobody, uh, nobody's ever seen. What do you mean? Have you seen the cat people? Remember yeah, but that was he owns the black, the black he, panther, whatever it was. Well, Puma, is, what is it? What cat was in it? Well, his true claim to fame before he had anything to do with Elvis, before he was trying to like, you know, claim to be Elvis's son, he had some cats that he worked with, and they were in movies. Yeah, and he so. mentioned that he started recording back in seventy nine. Yeah, because that's two years after your supposedly your father. So at that time, he knew. You knew that that was your dad, and I don't know. You didn't do you know anything what? about. I mean, I just don't I, buy I, it. I'm sorry. I know, I, but Mari, he being that person that you just, I, I want to believe the person. You know what, Mari? I had to do this. I got to cut this one short, man. We're giving this guy too much. We're giving him too much <laughs> airtime. We're reading into it too much, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy's you off. get a chance to watch. This guy's this a thing. fraud, ladies and gentlemen. You guys watch it. Let, let us know, yeah. you know, yeah. who this. And again, yeah. his name is exactly you know. what it is. He says he didn't want yeah. nothing. Yeah. He doesn't want to like take his spotlight or anything like that. But yet, you have his full name. Yeah, you know his name. It's Elvis Aaron Presley Jr. That's what gets yeah. me is that he said he didn't want to have. He's not trying to like no, he steal doesn't, yeah. his father's he spotlight says, or anything. But yet, you have his. Full name. Yeah. And, and he's about to do a show, a Father's Day show. Um, and anyways, we're uh, we're getting messages during our... our... <laughs> Is it from Vegas? <laughs> I think it's from Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, anyways, yeah, he's about to do a Father's Day show. You guys, and... it's a joke when we say that is because in the during the interview, he's he got a phone call, which sounded kind of like the one... It sounded like had. a fake phone call, like the fake. one we just had a while back in the... In one know. of our, our little... You in know, this short, in or this, in this video. Yeah, yeah, that's what it sounded like. And then you hear a cat. And then there's a wild wow. cat in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you're like... And the, the way he's looking around, I mean, you don't even see the full house. I mean, wouldn't you want to show your full house? I mean, I would think. Yeah, you would think so. But anyway, Or something nice to look at. You just see. This guy's crazy. The way he was dressed. I, I'm yeah. not going to. I'm going to stop. He's wild. <laughs> you know. But we got to stop this. We got to stop this. We we gotta gotta stop this. Stop but again, this. like I said, I want to believe Mr. If that's his name. You want to believe him? I want to believe him if he had proof. But there's no, no proof. I don't want to so... believe this guy. I Maybe kept, if it, it. I'm trying to be the nice person here, you know. <laughs> Sometimes there's people you want to believe. I like Michael. Right? I want to believe. And then Michael, there's other there's people no that you just really don't want to believe. Well, Michael did have proof. Remember, he had his documents, but he didn't show anybody but the lady. Yeah, yeah, he had proof. Michael Presley was like, "I got the birth certificate, ladies and gentlemen, right here." So there you go. <laughs> and uh, hold on, let me get my driver's license out. Here's my driver's license right here. So. There you guys go, ladies and gentlemen. I know it looked like a coaster, but they made them round years ago. You know, no big deal. So if you guys ever get a chance to please... Check out these guys, these imposters. And let us know Uh, what you guys think. Yeah. Elvis Aaron Presley Jr. And uh, check out the other one, Michael Presley. Michael Presley. You like a good laugh and the Andy Griffith show's not not coming in right? It's more... I I don't even think it's laughable to me. I think it's more upsetting. I'm upset. <laughs> you know what? It's, it it's, is upsetting. It's so wrong to like use Alvis for your whatever. Yeah. If that's what you're doing, then that's the wrong thing to do. It's upsetting, but you know sometimes you can't help. Him you're giving him a wrong. You're giving him a bad name. You're making it seem like he had kids illegitimately that he didn't want, and he didn't want yeah, them, and he's yeah. just going around. Obviously, we know he was a womanizer. We know that Alvis loved. Well, him. let's he's, not say that, Mari. I'm just I mean, saying the lady. Oh, no, what kind of man? Well, we don't have to say that word. I mean, right. I, I don't like but that. But I'm saying <laughs> what I'm saying is he was, yeah, let's say he he got his, around, he, he got, got around, around right? I mean, he was the most desirable man yeah, that ever lived, right? so. But the fact that they're now they're making it seem like he's got he has kids all over the place, like that's not a good thing to say about Elvis, you know. And a lot of people say Priscilla is the one that's. <laughs> Okay, but now it's not even person. Now it's these people that are making up fake news, you know, saying that yeah. this is my dad. When I don't want to hear that, but well, we won't talk bad about Priscilla or you know, nah. <laughs> or these people. Not on this. Not on this talk. 
Mari. Sorry. Liz. Not on this deck. Sorry, Mari. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was this. That's a nice little, uh, little fun little chat, right? Installment, yep. And uh, hey, when we uh, do our next, uh, when's our next live, Mari? It's Friday, coming up this Friday. Friday, so yeah. join us Friday at uh, 10.30 p.m.? 10.30 Central, yes. And uh, and then join us again. on If you couldn't join us on Friday, join us on Sunday. Yeah, I sure hope. And Sunday hopefully morning. you guys could tell your friends. Like, tell your friends. <laughs> tell your friends. Family, tell them to come on over. Any Elvis fans. Hey, or everybody. Any Pop culture. Yeah. Any 80s. Everybody's invited to the cookout, man. Yes. Just br and <laughs> hey, but bring a dish to pass, okay? <laughs> bring a dish to pass, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, you guys. We are signing off, and hopefully you enjoyed this episode of our Elvis talk. Right. Thanks for stopping by. All right, you guys. Till next care. time. Bye bye. Said I was